and an LSD in cocaine. And the DEA refuses to change the scheduling, even though it has been proven to have medicinal purposes. Um, if you look at the spire over here, uh, it's actually costing us $10.7 billion a year in marijuana prescription. And uh, $40 billion uh, of taxpayer money are going to So do you want to say a little bit about what you're doing? Um, yeah. Okay. okay, so my name's Abby, and for our project we chose stop homophobia, which is a big thing nowadays. And well, we're all passionate about animals, so we uh, volunteered at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay's Animal Shelter. And this what did you do for your project? Well, we wanted to do the social action for um, homelessness, so we went ahead and volunteered at Bed and Ministries, and then we got to volunteer in the kitchen and serve meals. And then to create awareness, we set up a table in front of the library using this sign, and we were holding up those ones right there, just trying to create awareness and putting out flyers to anybody that was interested in trying to help out. Yeah. Why did you choose to do this project? I chose this project because it's something that hits close home to me. Um, I had a friend of mine try to kill herself a couple years ago, and I have two other friends who have harmed themselves in the past because they felt that was their only release from whatever pain they were feeling. And I've been there myself for a little while, and I just know what it feels like, and I didn't know how to reach out for help. And so I'm hoping through this project I can educate other people that it is a serious problem class one day and our teacher told us to help try and make a difference in our community wherever you find that there's a problem. And we found an organization called One Breath at a Time. And it was the day after Relay for Life, so it was not a very good time for, these, for at least this organization to get people. So we called them up, we asked them what can we do to help out. And uh, Sam told us that they said, in whatever way possible, we would like for you all to uh, advertise our event in any means possible in the, uh, the organizations in Tampa. And also to help at least get some volunteers for water and also for like register. So. Uh, we went to a um, horse market, you know, every Wednesday. Um, while I lived in Key West, I worked for the Key West Wildlife Sanctuary, which worked on uh, capturing and rehabilitating wild seabirds. Um, so that kind of really gave me an inspiration to help the native birds around here in Florida, particularly the birds here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, so what I did is I um, got a little more information on what wild birds are around here, um, what's affecting them, and how we can help. Hi, I'm Hannah Lay, and I'm a creative writing major, and I'm really, really interested in poetry, so I decided to do that for my project, a Poetry Awareness. Hi, I'm Kristen Clark, and I did my project on women who abuse men. I chose to do my action project on this because I feel that it's imperative for society to know that abuse it doesn't have bias. It's not whether you're a male or a female. 